Top, no twisters needed anymore. Like if I if I equip my weapons, it spawns a twister. So and this build doesn't even need it anymore. Like we just kill everything like this. Hey everybody, it's Rob here. We have found the Turel Smite and boy have we made a cool variant build of it. It's basically like a perma artillery shrine. It does 3000 damage and has big damage reduction. And you can see here, like if I'm spinning, like how we normally do, like it creates twisters and it creates these uh, artilleries. And um, yeah, it's a pretty cool build. We also stacked full movement speed and we went for Temerity. I'm gonna put the planner in the description, but yeah, this one is uh, completely nuts and we can scale it with Ramalaldis and uh, our Fury. And actually we should drink a Fury Elixir and uh, we have a bunch of healing to trigger our Ramalaldis. And I just wanted to like show you here real quick, like how this build is uh, is doing in Helltide. Thala step our Whirlwind like this and it basically kills everything. So no twisters needed anymore. Like if I, if I equip my weapons, it spawns a twister. So this build doesn't even need it anymore. We just kill everything like this. And obviously if we want to add the twisters and our weapons, we can, but then it's gonna look like this. Cause the arrows spawn twisters. But yeah, I prefer to play without the weapons and just uh, more clarity. Just spawn, spam some arrows. Rup, rup, kill everything. Spam some more arrows. Everything dies instantly. Yeah, Turret's Might I think is a very cool addition here. Uh, to the uber unique pool because we didn't really have any chest uber unique like we had like multiple helms and stuff so i'm really happy that this is now a chest so we have like max movement speed and uh yeah, we're just blasting basically sometimes you can still go on your horse and you can see here like how, how many and these things kill everything and they also spawn twisters yeah it's really good we can do here this uh hell tide event here for a second if we want and you can see there's arrows and twisters everywhere Again, every arrow spawns a, a twister when it kills an enemy. And it d spawns them off screen. Like, you might even want to, you know, um, you see the monster kills, how they go up. I have 300 monster kills, and I just keep killing monsters here in, in this in this position. And my temerity, like, it completely outskills all this damage. And, um, yeah, we just, like, press the button, basically. We just spin and we win. I'm not sure, like, this was 300 monster kills now. Oh, there's more, there's more. Always good. And bounty mats here too. And the new health has been amazing. And this would even work with all the twisters. Like the twisters is just, you know, a bonus on top that makes it even crazier. But the arrows alone are enough uh, to kill everything already. And look how many legendaries we're getting here. I mean, there's a double legendary a drop chance on, on the PTR, but also like we're getting a bunch of uh, cinders. And the new health is just insane. And yeah, like uh, there is a lot of loot. I don't know when this thing ends. But we are also pretty tanky. Okay, it's ending now. But you can see here, we can pick all this loot. I don't really want to pick the legendaries too much. But yeah. <laughs> it's like, here you can see here, like the, 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 the arrows is enough to kill everything already. So you're just moving and everything just automatically gets destroyed. And yeah, that's pretty much uh, one of the builds. I don't know what this is. And there's another of these things. Do we want to do another one? I don't know, maybe we farm the 200 cinders here in, a, in a, like a second or so. <laughs> but yeah, for all the spin to win, enjoy us out there. Out there. This is the real, the real whirlwind build. With two rails mine now, spawning even more stuff. I don't think we need to stay here, like, we can just keep going, I guess. This is already a bunch of cinders. Okay, here, new enemies. Yeah, there's also a unique that dropped here. The gloves. So you double swing gloves. I hear whoosh. Actually, you see what these arrows hit for. Okay, they hit for like a million. Which is enough to kill everything in the open world, basically. And then there's the twisters, of course, as well. I mean, the twisters hit, hit for a little more sometimes. Well, yeah, this health that feels amazing, and I'll go over the build here in a sec. Oh, we can also do this uh, big thing here. But there's this health that event that you can do now with your hearts. Let's summon him real quick. I don't know how fast we're gonna blast this guy. But yeah, we can basically just keep uh, spawning twisters with our arrows. And again, I'm not, I don't have the whirlwind uh, aspect that spawns twisters when I spin. I just use the, the arrows to spawn the twisters for me. 
And the whirlwind doesn't do any damage, it's just to enable this, uh, this crazy build. I know whenever the boss is spawning. Visual clarity is a bit of a problem. He's gonna be spawning here shortly. Visual clarity not found. It's actually crazy. Like this, this one spawns even more twisters than than what I was used to. Like every arrow spawns a twister. Like one monster kill spawns a twister, basically. And yeah, two rats might also gives you twenty dr. Is this boss dude spawning? I think he might be coming in a second. Oh, there he was. Oh, he insta died. This was the big Helltide boss. He just insta dead. He has a pole arm. But yeah, that's pretty much the build. And also, actually, yeah, your shouts, they also spawn arrows. And those arrows just keep spawning more twisters. Yeah, you want to be really careful there. Max movement speed, full twisters. Yeah, it's a pretty funny build. And I mean, we found, what, 300 of these things? Now we've been playing for like a few minutes. Yeah, the new health is pretty amazing. And the cool thing is also you can just take the chests. The twisters will do the job. Yeah, they keep dropping stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much the build. Like, you just doop, 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 doop. And spawn twisters. Pretty funny. There's also so many legendaries. Look at this. Everywhere. Like these twisters, they make sure to kill everything because they, they hit the last corner. And these arrows, like if you ever had an artillery shrine with whirlwind, you know how crazy it is. Just normal artillery shrine. Like it just kills everything on ranged. And you just stutter step. You don't hold your whirlwind. I stutter step my whirlwind. Like you see, I do this. Stutter step it basically. There's like a bunch of these arrows. You can see here when they hit monsters, they spawn the twisters like crazy. But yeah, we're playing Numbing Graph here. This is to get our fortify. We are fortified and have barrier. So we have both. And then we have the Turial Smite. This one just spawns the arrows everywhere. And then we have elements here. It's just multipliers. So you can take any. Any gloves that you want, doesn't really matter too much. We have Temerity. You can also play Tybalt's Will, but Temerity gives you this barrier uh, that protects your um, health from going down for two reals, right? Keeps you healthy at all times. Um, then we have Slaughter here. You can also play Ghost Walker, just movement speed. Fuel per second is really good, and movement speed. Like you see here, if I just run, I just run at full movement speed. And even if I spin, I spin pretty fast. And you see you can hold the spin. This is how it looks when, you, when I hold it, but this is how it looks. When I uh, when I just tap it like this is how you should play. It's just like like in the gauntlet, basically. It just keeps triggering that stuff. It's completely insane. Um, then we have shout, spawn, waves, and the fury on kill is really important. Ramalaldis again a sign where we went to do a weird. This also scales your tutorial might. Um, then we have inner calm. Obviously we don't stand still, but it's still a 1.1x, and there's not really any better multiplier. Then we have the Devilish. This one gives the 100 Fury. So whenever we kill a monster, we get way more than 100 Fury. So whenever an arrow hits a monster, we get we get more than 100 Fury and it spawns three Twisters. And uh, they have a chance of 84% uh, to, to just double. And then there's like many more Twisters. I don't know here if I... See, it's like, it creates a chain reaction. I, I shoot one arrow uh, into this. Like it's basically range barb. Okay, that was a DR guy. Shoot one arrow and boom, didn't hit the Diaga. So we're basically playing a range barb. Then we are playing Starless Sky, you don't need this. Uh, you can play any other resource ring or your leap ring here for more leap cooldown. That's what I've played before and Bolt Chieftain. And on the amulet we play the uh, Conceited because we are basically um, never uh, taking damage and we have Temerity. So Conceited gives us another 1.38 multiplier. And you can see if I just go into monsters and they attack me, it also spawns Twisters because I have a lot of... Uh, Fury that I gain uh, on hit, and then it just spawns more twisters. But yeah, it's a pretty insane build, and we just we just chill, and it spawns twisters. And if we don't want to chill, we can spawn arrows, and it spawns twisters. But yeah, this will also work. Uh, I think pretty much without twisters. I want to see real quick. Like we just remove 
both of our stuff. And now we also lost, like, I don't know, all of our damage, basically, but... Yeah, you see, it still kills stuff. So this would be without Twisters completely. You know, we, like, I don't have any weapons equipped, yes? Like, all the weapons I have is these two one-handers. And you see, it still kills everything. Yeah, I don't know if you guys seen this. This is, like, the visual clarity uh, that people have wanted. So, yeah, no, no weapons, Bob. And we kill everything. See, there's an ambush here. Boom. This is how it's gonna look without the twisters. If the twisters are gone, or if you don't want to play twisters, just pure Turel smite. And yeah, I mean it. It rocks. Back is pretty cool. No visual clutter. <laughs> this is the no weapons Bob. Oh boy. Yep. I go over the skill tree and the paragons here in a sec, so... Yeah, this also works, yes? So low movement speed? No, I have max movement speed. This is as fast as you can be. I mean, it's 200%. Obviously, like, if you... If you have some uh, things that make you go faster than a cap, then it's better, obviously. Well, yeah, you see, I'm, I'm fully scaling twisters, and it still works without any twisters. But yeah, Turrell's Might is going to be the speed farm item uh, of Season 4. It's going to be so cool, man, especially on the barb. I can't wait, uh, you know, to get my hands on one of these. It's pretty busted. Well, I like it. Okay, then we have no weapons. Okay, Expertise is Axe, and we attack with Swords here. A leap, you can assign anything you want, but yeah, we only have dual wield right now. Then skill tree is looking like this. You just need one point in whirlwind. It's just there to trigger your stuff. And you can play slashing. You can even play a Rage of Haragath if you don't have two rats might. But uh, yeah, obviously right now it's an arrow focus build. We have some defense. We have triple shout. We have some thorns and bleeds. Uh, we have max movement speed. We have max uh, generation here. So we spawn more twisters. Uh, pit fighter. I mean, we're not really like close damage. I was even thinking, you know, right now I have close damage rolled everywhere. It's probably the best is to have distant damage with this because you're never close to the enemy, anyways. Like you just blast everything from a distance. But yeah, we'll see. Certainly can be min maxed. And then we have invigorating fury, which heals us, and we have raid raid eater, which heals us, all for temerity. Pretty insane. And then yeah, the ultimate key passive, unconstrained. And Paragon Tree looks like this. We have Exploit, Wrath, Twister. Yeah, okay, Rumble we can even replace now. We can take, uh, you know, Ambidextrous here because we're dual building, so we get another 8% damage. Very easy. And we also have the Bleed stuff, so that's actually pretty decent. Uh, we're rocking Marshall, and we're rocking Ira here in the Decimator board, and up here we have Marshall in the Blood Rage board. That's pretty much the build, guys. Just uh, no visual clutter like this. Tura Elts might Barbarian. Lots of fun to play. And yeah, very strong. Also with all the twisters. Fucking rocks. I like it a lot. Hope you enjoyed, my friends. GG. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.